that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are all... Clarissa, please don't draw a chalk line here. Don't make factions. Just... We have to stick together if we're gonna make it through this. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. Don't listen to her, okay? She's pissed at the world and she likes to take it out on me and, and none of what's happening makes any sense anyway. I'm not. It's not no, a... No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God, the town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa... forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like... It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa! Oh, you are completely insane! It's like all those after-school specials that warn you about inhuman monsters were all secretly talking about you! Yes, the person who didn't kill her own brother is the monster in this picture, of course. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't... I can't believe... Ugh. She's... Seriously... Nona, it was... Awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't... Just... Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is gonna get us home. So, let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the outs in free. Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my... It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't... Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. Uh, okay. Has that happened before? Oh yeah. It's... I feel like we're like a call-in show or something for them. Nice. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it, it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate to Ather's uh, house. Okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna, okay, here. Whom it should concern, this island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? Wait, isn't she dead? Didn't she die, like, yesterday or something? Uh, it's dated a month ago, so... I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. 
many truths. Shh. Inside, you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt, scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself. Margaret Adler. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. The sun is not out. The sun is, I guess it barely came out just now. But see, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Am I? Did I get stuck in time or something? No, I know. Day's going by like crazy fast, right? I feel like we were practically just accosted by those soccer players. No, why, why am I here right now with you? Because you said, I studied enough for my French test. I want to go to the beach, which I thought was very unlike you, by the way. You made the right choice, Alex. Where's, where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? It just... never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Today turned out to be... a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh... yeah, um... it really is kinda ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's, what's his face, Mr. Collins' English? Truthfully, I've, um, I- Ah, sorry, I think, yeah, I I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... Uh, <laughs> do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with- Uh, forget it. It's all right. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. And yeah, let's, uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well, I love him too. Had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So apparently you love me, is that right? <laughs> Well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Yeah, and the no helmet part kind of sends a message, right? I'm not one for subtlety. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... No thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've 
missed you, man. I... I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with... Princess, but... It's a two-way thing, you can knock on my door, we live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so... Thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy-smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good-looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex? Are you... Alright, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... Was it like a... I don't... I don't know what to call it. A vision? Maybe it was... Uh, maybe it was... It's an illusion or something? What? Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was like a, a real thing. What'd you see? What was it like? It was a day I can remember, actually. What hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. How have um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I gonna have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave, let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah, that's true, I suppose. Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you gonna try the gate thing, or...? If we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. Turn on the Lima India Golf Hotel.
Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de... How did she get so rich if she was just like a communications person or whatever in the military? I think I said when we got here, her family like owned part of the island or something. I think she just inherited a lot, honestly. Oh. Oh, it's like a... It's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through Sometimes all of her stuff, I Sometimes when I lock I myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? In the back. In the kitchen. Okay. Sure. Look, Cloris is here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine, okay? Let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics. And religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. Ugh. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? We're your parents. You kids better than- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah. Yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. Find anything useful? Not yet. But you know, the night is young. How are you, um, how are you feeling? Like, physically? Everyone kind of looks like they have the flu. What do you care how I'm feeling? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? I just don't get it. Well, you were being a total goober. What do you want me to say? I'm the second brownie. You know that was dumb. And what did it affect? Nothing. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just forget I said anything. Go about your business. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Are you, um doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Twenty-nine, eighteen, fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this, ah, the boat keys. Got them. Let's blow this pop stand. Oh, I just got that popsicle stand. It does make sense. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? I got the keys. They were in the attic upstairs. In a chest, but who cares? Let's just go. Alex. Oh, Alex. Come down here, please. We have something we want to show you. Uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. Nona, 
Come on, honey, it's time to motor. Ren, are you... are you alright? We're in a... we're in a time loop thing. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Stop. Just... stop whatever this is, can't you? Just... just fix my friends. Please. Your friends are as fine as they've ever been, okay? There's nothing to bleed over. You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses. I wish I hadn't tuned into that stupid thing, okay? If I knew what it was gonna do, do you... Do you really think I would have even brought this radio? Shh. It's okay. Everything, Everything will be, be fine. fine. The test is easy. We, we will speak of something we see in the house, so and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good-humored as, as your mother's, mother's apple pie. pie. I don't want to play this. Just tell me what's happening. Refusal to cooperate will incur grim penalties, I'm afraid, but it's, it's your choice. choice. Now, let's, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, Radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Once they call the fish alive. Four, three, two, one. The poor thing's life had just begun. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. The little ones are back! Now! Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done, done is done, done, as they say. If you paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy with my little eye a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Jonas, come on, snap out of it. Oh, your new brother. This isn't their fault. Bring them back. They'll come back when you learn their purpose, child. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the hill. Uh, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see... You and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to... Sport with us many years ago and... Well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use those waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what? What happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. Well, that could...
could have gone better. Tell Michael he should go to school here. Okay, seriously, who are you? I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. Yeah. I'm sorry, all right? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is a monster, so... Or we could just... leave? What? Seriously? We can't just leave? Yeah, I mean, I know she can be like the girl equivalent of bed bugs. I'm totally kidding. It was a joke. A joke. I would never think to doom Clarissa to anything unreasonable. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is just the uh, opener. You can uh, skip this one, Alex. Yeah, hit the button to keep going. Alex, we've fully absorbed this. It's Maggie and her friend. Let's move on. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, 
we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself. Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's that's going a little above, above and beyond. Well, how would she even know this? I don't care how much research she did, this would be out of anyone's realm of expertise. Well, something better work, or... Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. All right, but come on, Nona, do you honestly believe that the old equipment in either building will still work? It's, I don't know, but it's the only thing we have so far. And time's a-clickin'. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Can we just, I mean, can we just, like, think this plan through for, like, one minute before running off half-cocked? <laughs> Everyone heard that, right? Like, how will we know how to work the whatever, the apparatus, the signal machines when we get there? We can, um, improvise? Yeah, and there's usually some instructions with little cartoon people on it for the dumb and illiterate. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! Alex, Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. Uh-oh, uh, that's not good. I guess I'd been convincing myself I was immune because of my generally happy demeanor. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started.
<laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, wait. Okay, I guess 